It's that time to check in with our friends at WIBC. And this time we're rocking and rolling, which is one and one. My guy, Nigel, I'm so excited to have you, man, and to be able to see you. <laughs> Hammer is uh, is out with stomach problems today. And usually mm. when that happens, he's he's trapped in an enclosed space with a toilet for more than 10 hours. Oh, uh, Lord. You know, something's wrong. Yeah, I know. So I'm going to have to get him uh, some Febreze because it's a blessing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, give me mm -hmm. some Febreze right. while you're at it. I'm the one that has to sit here next to the guy every day. Duly noted. I got the right sense as well. Listen, uh, you know, we've been hearing all about cicadas. I was literally just taking a drive and I could hear them outside. Oh, and, you wow. know, now people are eating them and the FDA <laughs> is saying they're issuing, issuing a warning. Is this anything? Yeah, I don't know what the obsession is with eating cicadas. Why do people eat cicadas i know it's a good source of protein but health officials are now saying people who have issues with seafood should avoid chowing down on this crunchy insect um they've of course emerged from a 17-year hibernation and some people who are allergic to selfish shouldn't eat this kind of thing my thing is like you know there's tons of anti-meat people you know don't you we don't eat meat the cows are cute don't you dare eat meat but since cicadas are gross, ugly little monsters, nobody says word one about eating as cicadas. Yeah, that's my only problem. Uh, yeah, I've never, I'm not going to try one. Have you tried one on the air, Alexis? Have you no. tried eating it? And these? as my dear friend Phil Sanchez would say, that's fugazi. I am not doing <laughs> that. Like, that's not my ministry. We're not going there. <laughs> Let me do something real quick. I, since Hammer's not here, I'm going to make fun of uh -huh. him. Speaking of eating, I mm. caught him eating steak for lunch in his office the other day. Okay. But let's look at this picture here. Look at <laughs> <laughs> look at. <laughs> Look at how Hammer eats his steak. Oh, it's like my gosh. It's like, like it's a slice of pizza from Amore's <laughs> in Zionsville. That's how he eats his steak. He didn't if, forget the fork. No need oh, for a knife. Just goodness. pick it up with your bare hands, tear and chew. This, this uh, looks that's like. That's the kind of. This that's looks a, like I mean, it's, this, it's just that's crazy. Kind of co -worker, that's the kind of co-worker uh, yeah, we're dealing with here <laughs> uh, at the Humor and Nigel show. Oh, my gosh. I, you know, I have one for you. Can, okay. Can I, can I do give one to you here? Please, is this anything? Yes. Is this all right? I, and I have a feeling, as McKenzie's not here, I have a feeling she might be guilty of this. I don't know about mm. you, but there is a driver that uh, says his GPS system led him uh, <laughs> through a parking lot in the middle of the night, ended up on a golf course of an exclusive country club near Boston, almost hit the water just by following his GPS. Alexis, have you ever done something <laughs> like that? Have you ever followed your GPS into a lake? Is this anything? Listen, I am directionally challenged, yeah, but too. my man, no. Like, at some <laughs> point, my dad used to say this. He was like, look, you have to be able to have some common sense for yourself, okay, and look around your surroundings. At any point, did he look around and say, you know what? <laughs> Something doesn't belong here, and it might yeah. just be me. <laughs> oh, that is definitely know. something, but that's not something for me. And it's something McKinsey might do is what I'm saying. She's not here to defend herself. Don't tell her I said that, okay? I think you sorry. might be right. It's okay. It's all right. <laughs> hey, it's me and you. And I love that picture of Hammer, by the way. It made oh. me think of, like, that must have been years in the making. Like, that was toddler Hammer being like, you know yeah. what? When I get to be a grown-up, I'm going to do what I want to do. And then he literally did. So there we or go. Or he just forgot a knife and fork at his house and had to make <laughs> do with what he had. <laughs> oh, man. This is why we can't have nice things. Thank you so much, right. my friend. I appreciate you. Until next time we'll be right back after this